It's not a tumor. What has that got to do with it? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What's going on on my YouTube? It is, I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And continuing on in my series of Ivan Reitman reviews, in today's video I'll be taking a look at the 1981 comedy Stripes. John Winger, a sad sack and a bum in his 30s, impulsively joins the U.S. Army after losing his job, his girlfriend, and his apartment. Stripes was released in 1981, and this was yet another comedy directed by Ivan Reitman. And much like Meatballs, this film was met with critical and commercial success. I think this was an even bigger hit than Meatballs was. And it pretty much continued to open the door and plant the seeds for what became Ghostbusters. As this movie, he teamed with Bill Murray once again. Harold Ramis, who co-wrote the screenplay for Meatballs, actually stars alongside Bill Murray in this one. And you can just see, you see a little bit of the seeds that paved the way for greatness to come next with the Ghostbusters movie. And it was great seeing that. The seeds of that play out in this movie, Stripes. And this was one, unlike Meatballs, I had heard about Stripes for years. I knew that this was a movie that Bill Murray starred in, and this was one of like the early successes for him as an actor. I don't think I knew Ivan Reitman directed this until I conceived this director project, but I had heard about this for a while, and I was kind of intrigued to check it out. And I was not disappointed. Stripes was so much fun. I was laughing constantly throughout the course of this movie. A lot of it is because of how silly the concept is. You have two characters, John Winger played by Bill Murray, and you got Harold Ramis, who are two friends. They have nothing better to do, so after Bill Murray's character loses his job, his apartment, and his girlfriend, he's like, well, I'm just going to join the army, see how that goes. And Harold Ramis tags along with him. And, you know, you know the story's kind of standard as it gets. You know, they join the army because that, they think that's the easy way out. Of course, they get way over their head. They have a no-nonsense drill sergeant that they clash with. And then there's also a last-minute rescue mission where our two goofballs have to prove their worth. There's nothing like hugely surprising about this movie it's a tried and true formula that i've seen before in other comedy movies past and present but you got ivan reitman's take on this genre and i had a lot of fun with it i think the improvisational comedy is what drives this film when you have the actors just let loose in this scenario and just have the absolute fun of being a part of it and I had a blast with this movie. Bill Murray and Harold Ramis are an excellent duo. Obviously, we know they have great working chemistry. Obviously, we've all seen Ghostbusters. But just the two of them alone, they were awesome together. And I enjoyed seeing them banter back and forth. Be a part of this scenario where they're in the army. Get a little over their heads, but still try to make the best of their situation. I really enjoyed both of their characters, especially Bill Murray as John Winger, who had some of the best laughs in this entire movie. Uh, there's a scene near the end where he does this improvisational style of marching with the other troops, and that scene alone is worth watching the movie. It's the graduation ceremony. That's all I'll say without spoilers, but what he and the other actors do in this scene was absolutely amazing, and I was... Not only was I laughing throughout it, but it was also pretty impressive on like a choreography standpoint. There's other prominent actors in this movie as well. Warren Oates plays the drill sergeant. Sergeant Hulky, yeah, that's a funny name. And I just thought he was hilarious as the no-nonsense drill sergeant. He and Bill Murray, their clashes together was hilarious. There's something that happens to his character. It was also really funny, and I felt kind of bad for him, but he was still a hilarious addition to this movie. And even John Candy is in this movie. Like, I didn't realize John Candy was in this, but he plays the character with the silly name Dewey Oxberger. 
yeah, the name will make sense when you actually see him on screen. But yeah, John Candy was a great addition as well. He always adds some greatness to an already fun movie, regardless of what movie he's in. And it's no exception in Stripes. There's other prominent people that I recognize in this movie left and right. Uh, one of the love interests in this movie is Sean Young, who's an MP. Actually, I've seen the term MP in a lot of these war movies and military theme movies, and I never knew what an MP meant until this movie. That stands for military police. You learn something new every day. So Sean Young plays an MP who has the hots for one of our main characters. Uh, I've seen her in other movies, and she's never fully impressed me, but you know, I actually enjoyed her in this movie. I enjoyed seeing her in this silly comedy. And she was very attractive, especially in this movie. I'll just say that. And then another actor I recognized was Judge Reinhold, who I know best. You know, him hanging out with Eddie Murphy in Beverly Hills Cop. And he was the psychiatrist Neil in the Santa Claus trilogy. So he plays one of the army guys as well, and I recognized him. It's not a great movie by any means. Uh, there's a few times, because this is an R-rated comedy, where... Some of the R-rated humor, I felt like, went a little too far. Uh, there's an extended sequence involving mud wrestling that I'm like, I have no idea why we're going there. The sequence played out a little too long. I don't find mud wrestling all that attractive, and I just thought the scene was a little uncomfortable. That's all I'll say there. And then the third act ditches a lot of the comical hijinks in favor of, you know, this action-packed climax and it was fun it was fun seeing bill murray wield a machine gun and take part in this rescue mission but i don't i think it lacked the overall comedic edge that the first two acts were all about and why they were the funniest aspects of the entire movie the more entertaining aspects of the movie the third act left a little to be desired even though it was still a well-staged climax it was fun to watch, but it kind of ditched the comedic elements, and I wasn't as big a fan of that aspect of the movie compared to the rest of the movie. But overall, I had a great time with Stripes. I liked it a little more than Meatballs. I think this movie continues to prove why Ivan Reitman was one of the most gifted comedic directors of that time. I love the camaraderie with Bill Murray and Harold Ramis. I thought they were the glue that made this movie the absolute fun comedy that it was, along with Reitman's incredible direction. I love the improv comedy. There was just so much hilarity throughout with this premise that I was enjoying the movie for what it was. The third act wasn't as strong, and some of the R-rated humor just wasn't my cup of tea. But overall, I had a ball with Stripes, and I highly recommend it if you're a fan of Ivan Reitman or are a fan of Bill Murray, Harold Ramis or the other remarkable comedic talents that are on display in this classic 80s comedy. So at the end of the day, I'll be giving Stripes a 4 out of 5 stars, and on the 100-point scale, it's getting a 79 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Stripes as part of my Ivan Reitman director project, where I'm going through his complete filmography from his directing debut to his last film. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're a fan of Ivan Reitman, I'll leave a link in the description below for a playlist where you can check out all the past Ivan Reitman reviews I've covered on this channel. At the time of this video, I'm just getting started. I've only reviewed his first two movies, Cannibal Girls and Meatballs. I have more Ivan Reitman reviews to come going forward, so be on the lookout for more Ivan Reitman reviews coming your way. And don't forget to click the link in the description below for the playlist where you can check out my past videos. Join me next time in this Ivan Reitman Director Project, where I'll be taking a look at the movie that truly put Ivan Reitman on the map as a director. And that, of course, is my review of the 1984 comedy classic, the movie that he's best known and best remembered for, and that is Ghostbusters. Be on the lookout for that video coming real soon. But if you've seen Stripes, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. 
If this is your first video besides movie reviews, I'll also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!